In 1943, the German Zayef company performed a major surgery on a Panzer IV tank. This Panzer IV G chassis was reportedly recovered from the front lines and had suffered severe damage in battle, rendering it of little repair value. However, this was not important because ZF intended to completely remove the internal power and transmission systems and attempt a new hydraulic transmission system. The designers completely dismantled the original internal systems of the chassis and modified the structure of the power compartment to accommodate new components. The tank's Maybach HL120 TRM engine remained located at the rear of the hull, but its power was no longer transmitted to the gearbox through a drive shaft. Instead, it was directly connected to two hydraulic pumps to provide power to the hydraulic motors. The original drive shaft that ran through the hull was also gone, replaced by hydraulic pipes. In front of the tank, replacing the mechanical structures such as the gearbox, were two control cylinders. The driver only needed to adjust the oil volume to control the speed of the hydraulic motors. The original front drive wheels were moved to the rear. This new power system greatly facilitated driver operation, using a semicircular steering wheel to adjust the direction of travel. In addition to the power system, ZF also developed a hydraulic transmission for the turret, which was completed and tested in the second half of 1944. However, the test data for this new tank was destroyed in the war, so we have no way of knowing its original test data. As for this one and only hydraulic transmission Panzer IV tank, it was captured by the Allied forces during their offensive. The U.S. Army entered the Bavarian region in April 1945, and the 3rd Infantry Division discovered this uniquely shaped Panzer IV in a factory in Augsburg and transported it back to the United States after the end of the battle. Of course, the United States did not let this unique equipment go to waste. It was examined at the Aberdeen Proving Ground to understand its power structure, and a detailed report was made. However, there is still no information about its speed or maximum range. Regarding this unique hydraulic transmission tank, it has advantages that mechanical transmission does not have. Like electric transmission, it does not have a drive shaft, allowing for the easy arrangement of hydraulic pipelines and the ability to adjust the oil volume to change the travel speed, making operations smoother and providing some benefits to tank maneuverability. Additionally, at that time, Germany was facing large-scale bombing, and developing a new power system could serve as a technical backup. Compared to electric transmission, hydraulic transmission is still simpler. However, hydraulic transmission also has its drawbacks. Aside from the efficiency of power transmission, its components require higher precision for processing and maintenance is more troublesome. Hydraulic oil is sensitive to temperature and can become viscous, similar to lubricating oil. Considering the actual situation in Germany at that time, regardless of whether the hydraulic transmission Panzer IV was successful, Germany did not have the ability to adjust production resources to establish related production lines let alone complete the training of logistics maintenance units to achieve large-scale equipment. Judging from the attitudes of Germany and the United States towards hydraulic transmission and the development of tank technology in the decades after the war, conventional mechanical transmission still occupies the dominant position. And hydraulic transmission is currently more suitable for use in engineering machinery, such as loaders.